Alright, in this video we're checking out the Dytone GTR249T-HD and this is obviously the HD version with the Cat Extrudal V2 um, but a little bit different frame uh, it's a dead cat style frame you can see here so that you don't have any props in the HD video and that's the biggest change from the, I guess, the standard 249 from previous versions Obviously there's the non-HD and the HD versions of the 249 with the standard, I guess, uh, stretch text frame or uh, squish text frame, I guess. This is a dead cat style frame. And everything else is, I think, pretty much the same. Although now uh, all their new models are now coming with the MK2 stack, the micro stack, the Mamba Mini, uh, instead of the old uh, standard stack. Uh, obviously with the uh, improvements I mentioned in the previous video on the MK2 with the through holes on the flight controller. You got your Cadex uh, Turtle board there, it's a 20x20 board. And then they are now using the uh, TBS Unify 5 volt video transmitter here instead of, I think they're using something, I think it was a run cam previously in uh, the standard 249. Same motors as before, you got the Mamba, uh, these are the 1105s. Um, 5500 kV and these are 2. Point, I think these are 2.4 or 2.3 inch micro Avon props from Emacs so technically this frame can do two and a half inch but they are going with these um, uh, Avon props I guess I guess a little bit better balance maybe a smoother video um, the video is pretty solid on this canopy here where it's mounted the HD video doesn't have too much jello on a bright sunny day you could still, of course, add an ND filter, I believe. I'm not sure if the gap there is wide enough, but I didn't try that, but it's possible. I didn't, didn't think I needed it for this particular day. Um, the video seemed fairly jello free. Now, they do have this new canopy, of course, the purple chrome, which is pretty nice looking here. And then I just added um, my own XM Plus receiver in the back. I didn't come with that. I just desoldered the cable there that was. Uh, pre-attached for the factory and then soldered on my XM Plus there as a standard uh, setup there for I usually from all the diatones and then I have my antennas heat trunk to some zip ties on the back arms. Now this is I think a little on the heavy side for 1105 motors on 3S here and let me just show you how much this thing weighs. Okay, so this thing is coming in around 99 grams and then with the 3S520 milliamp hour lipo it's, it's the one that I used it's now coming at 140 grams so it's pretty heavy and in fact I believe in the product specs page it actually calls for a bigger, even a bigger battery 650 to 750 3S so this is uh, pretty heavy for basically a 2.3 or 2.5 inch prop on 1105 motor so this is not a super performance uh, driven type of little micro. This is going to be more for cruising around and getting nice smooth HD video. Now, in flight time you'll see that I'm doing flippy floppies with it, but yeah, this isn't, I don't think, a performance piece by any means compared to some other models out there. But yeah, this is, I think, going to be really nice cruising type of uh, micro with HD video. Now, this did come with a tune from the factory that I didn't touch. I didn't do any tuning. Comes with an older version of Beta, I think 351, I believe. Came pre-tuned from the factory. I think that there, for a lot of there, I've been noticing that Dietone is going to a older version of Beta Flight on the HD models because I think the uh, 400, 40.x series uh, seems to have a lot of vibration and jello issues on the HD model, so they reverted back to 3.5. Not sure if 4.1 is going to improve any of that. I'm going to be looking into that for a future video, so you know what to stay tuned for that. But other than that, um, not a whole lot to talk about. I mean, other than the fact that they changed the frame to this Dead Cat style frame, um, and the new canopy, of course, which is really nice. So they, obviously, they've done improvements all around to the 249. I don't know if this is going to come in a 2-inch or 3-inch I'm thinking that two inch. I I remember from way, if you remember from way back, I had the two inch version of the HD with the Turtle V2, that did not perform very well because it just doesn't the small prop and the heavy weight just doesn't go well together. And also, I think that 
uh, now that they've improved the flight control stack as well and also the video transmitter. I think, you know, over time they've been gradually making little tweaks to their series here with this, you know, this is just, this is a signature canopy here. I, I, I'm assuming that they've been using the same mold here, just using different paint schemes on their canopy mold. But this is a common canopy scheme in a lot of their models lately, so I guess the GTR series. So yeah, um, they've over time, and over like this past year, they've been making gradual little tweaks and improvements here and there to uh, get this model pretty refined. Right now, I, you know, I think it's pretty nice. Although, like I said, it's not a performance piece. So if you're looking for that, this model isn't for you. If you're looking for a nice, you know, small micro for cruising around, uh, not too noisy, yeah, check this one out. This one's pretty good. Uh, I like all Diatone products. They, they will fly pretty good out of the box. They do tuning at the factory. It's got a pit tune on already, so as you'll see in the flight demo, no pit tuning will be needed. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for this video. Let me have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. So I'm just flying this on the factory tune. Actually, don't even know what the PIDs are. I haven't looked them up at all. And I think this is also running an older version of Betaflight. So... Not bad. It's a little on the loose side. I think they have the camera set to 16.9, so my, I'm flying through the sky zones, and so the uh, FPV feed's a little weird. All right. It's not super fast, it's not going to break any records. It's pretty smooth. Let's see what the HD video looks like. Yeah, the yaw axis is drifting a little bit. It's not too bad though. And you can probably fly this pretty slow too. You just want to do some cruising around. Be interesting to see this on like a 4.1 tune, but it's not bad. Now we're getting low battery warnings. It's about three minutes of flight. All right, bring it on in. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below.